Hello, and thank you for joining me for another speed build. I have been ever so excited to get this one out to you guys because it just turned out really really nicely so it's a little one bedroom rustic farmhouse it's not on an animal farm it's just got crops next to it um i might add in some animals at a later date but i liked the sort of the crop idea and there is a wheat farm next to it as well i did build the windmill and the wheat farm off camera as well as the farm on the left hand side of the building because I first of all never built a windmill before and I didn't want to record it and there'd be loads and loads of mistakes on there and also I did try and build the crop farm on camera but unfortunately my replay mod um, doesn't always like me so <laughs> I recorded about 16 minutes of footage and when I went to edit it um, it just looked like a bunch of fireworks on the screen and that was it so I couldn't do anything with that and I didn't want to tear it all down so you're not going to get any of that footage i'm afraid but i love how this house came together i never plan my builds but this one seemed to really really flow a lot of the time when i'm building i end up tearing down walls and adding windows here and there and the roofs don't always match up but this one just just felt right so yeah really chuffed with how it looks and the roof was quite nice and easy to build because it's sort of like a box the window at the front was a little bit difficult to plan i did do some planning off of camera and then i thought oh that looks quite good i really like these windows i'm not sure what you'd call them it's like an attic window or something i guess but i think they just add so much character to a house I added a little um, chimney and fireplace as well. I do go in and remove the fireplace in the inside at a later date because I just wasn't happy with the way it looked and it took up such a big portion of the interior. I keep the chimney because in my head the well there was a fireplace there and it's just been filled in so that's that's the story I'm going with. <laughs> I think a chimney always looks really good on a building. I had an idea of the people that would live in this house would be sort of two elderly grandparents. They have their grandsons, their young grandsons to visit them sometimes. So I've added a swing set and there's a little picnic bench out the front of the house and they've got some bunk beds in the bedroom. I know this isn't The Sims and there's absolutely no reason for me to be creating these backstories, but I do like to have them in place because I feel like I can decorate according to how the characters would, if that makes sense. So I do find it makes the builds a bit more personal really to, to the character. So I always find it, you know, is a benefit to me to make up these little stories but talking about the sims when i was in school which was like years and years ago because i'm 25 now so a long time ago but i used to be obsessed with it like sims 3 i spent every spare moment i had on that game to the point where like when i went to sleep at night and i was dreaming about well like family or friends whatever they would be sims in my head and that's when i knew i had to stop because i just couldn't sleep um so i had to take a break from it for a few months and i can't remember if i ever really got back into it again after that i think because i knew like I do have a bit of a obsessive personality so I think I kind of knew that like if I got sucked back into it I was gonna struggle again but I even find that with Minecraft now like I do sometimes really latch onto it like when I've been on a roll with a build I think about it all the time like my brain works overtime always anyway but when I'm really into a game or you know like I crochet as well when I get into that I like just think about it constantly so <laughs> that's one of my toxic traits <laughs> um but i added some cute little um shrubs and plants and flowers in the front i like to think that the grandma likes to spend some of her free time in the garden i did try and make the garden relatively simple because um i said it in a previous video i can go a bit overboard with decorating but i wanted this to be quite yeah quite a toned down front garden really and i guess because they've got a farm and they've got wheat fields and stuff nearby they wouldn't really spend a lot of time doing their own sort of landscaping other than sort of you know making sure that the grandma's got some nice flowers and and plants in her front garden but for anyone that is still watching my video and if you are thanks by the way i really appreciate the support but do you guys play any games and what are your go-to's i do really like these cozy sort of games i do play things like the witcher skyrim uncharted the last of us but i think games like minecraft and the sims 
is a really good creative outlet for me. I work in IT in a bank, it's very fast paced there. It's a lot of logical thinking and troubleshooting, so it can be quite stressful. So to come home and be able to play these games and just completely shut off from my day job is, is really, really nice. It's a fantastic way for me to relax. And I know a lot of people feel the same as well, but yeah, what do you guys play? I pop the name of every CIT pack that I use in the description box below, but honestly, I have some amazing packs downloaded. The creators of these packs are just so clever. I know we give praise to sort of generic ones like Mizunos and Ghoulcraft, but there are some other brilliant ones like Hanana Craft, Erstwhile, Mayflowers, Garden Breeze, Granny's Corner, Abbey CIT, there's just so many to name. So if you guys see any items that you like in any of my videos, do please check the description box and install them because they just elevate your game and especially adding BSL shaders in makes so much difference. Um, to be honest, I'm surprised that my, my device can run shaders and all of these CIT packs because I've got a gaming laptop from CyberPower. It's not even a PC. The fan does get pretty hot, it gets pretty noisy and Minecraft can take ages to load up, but it's so worth it. There's so many creative possibilities now for building in Minecraft and there's even mods like Cockrocot and Miniatura. I actually used to use both of those before I discovered CIT packs, but they never really looked clean enough. And I always watched videos on CIT packs and I was like, wow, that looks amazing. I love the fact that you can rotate items as well. I was always a little bit scared of installing them because I didn't know how they worked, but using CIT packs is really, really easy to understand. So guys, do not let it put you off. And I think having Mizuno's texture pack as well makes all the difference. This is the fireplace that I removed. I think it looks so much better without it. Whatever I did, I couldn't make it look nice. And because the fireplace is so big, it just took up so much space. So as you'll see in a minute, I do end up putting a long kitchen along that side of the wall. And I'm glad I removed the fireplace because the kitchen, I was really, really happy with in the end. I normally use the Mizuno shelves that have like plants, bowls, books, that sort of stuff on top of it. And even though it's a really, they're, well, they're really nice items, they always look the same. So I made my own shelves this time and decided that I was gonna fill them up with some clutter. Um, and I think I'll be doing that again, like looked really, really good in the end. I changed the floor like a thousand times. A lot of it is off camera, but I'm so indecisive when it comes to flooring. I changed the upstairs one as well, but once again, I think I cut that all out so you guys didn't have to sit through that. I just wanted a color that would complement the walls and would have a bit of a contrast with the furniture, but didn't look too harsh. But I find with the blocks that I'm using in this, like the birch and granite, you need either spruce or oak planks to make it look good or tiles, like I struggle to find another block that actually looks good with those. I don't want anything to clash, so it's it's quite difficult for me, but I mean, we got there in the end, went back to oak and it looked lovely. I can't remember if the oven and the fridge are from Erstwhile's or Mayflower CIT packs, but they've got so many color varieties. I just wanted a cream to sort of tone down the kitchen, I guess. I like to think that a lot of my recent builds have really sort of pushed me out of my comfort zone and I've been trying to change up my style a little bit. I do find it really easy to stick with the cottage core feel, which is what I absolutely love, but I like to try new things and I have uploaded a video. In fact, there's some clips of it on TikTok and I think maybe even on YouTube shorts of a zombie bunker, like a post-apocalyptic cabin that I did, which I was really pleased with and everyone seemed to really like it. So I think I might try a few more styles like that but I follow some really impressive Minecraft content creators on both YouTube and TikTok. Some of them are Blishun, Yumimi, Arachu. There's so many around us that are like undiscovered, but they are fantastic. And some of the builds they, they post are just gorgeous. I'd love to do a collaboration at some point with a few of them, but I just don't know how to go about that. Like I've got some of them as friends on TikTok, which I feel really grateful for actually, because I'm like in awe of their building. <laughs> <laughs> I also need to plan what we'd do. So yeah, I mean, that's that's something I might look into at some point. 
Anyway, we are nearing the end of the build now. So I'm gonna stop rambling on like I've done for like 10 minutes already and just let you guys watch in peace. There is a little tour of the farmhouse and a few little snippets of the surrounding environment as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be uploading part two of the artist's retreat very shortly. Um, I just need to finalize a few bits on there. So do keep your eyes peeled and thank you so much for watching guys. If you could like, subscribe, comment and share this video with people that you think might also enjoy my content, I would really appreciate that. But I'm just grateful that you guys have watched and stuck to the end. So thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your week. Speak to you soon.